today is day six and we are filming on stage 22, the largest stage in the world at 10,000 square meters. This is a replica of the market that we were shooting at earlier and we're gonna tie in the beginning and end of that fight with this big set piece. We've rigged a uh, dolly track all along this length and we're gonna capture this uh, exquisitely choreographed fight through all of their motions with three different cameras. The reason why we're doing it all in one take here is to also highlight the size of this stage. We're able to really quite easily fit in this set and have this long dolly run in a way that we would not be able to do in the real location. This is an impossible shot on the real alley because it's not wide enough in the way that we're getting behind elements in the wall, we're getting behind things that would be up against the wall. This is a legitimate soundstage. It's not just a big airport hangar. The catwalks allow for easy accessibility to hang truss motors, to hang big lights. You can have full control in here. It is very exciting to be shooting in the biggest stage in the world and it really sort of puts into perspective the potential for what can be shot here at Wanda. We're just tapping into a small amount of what the creative potential is to film in this stage. It definitely is great to have this, this size stage on the lot. I think the studios are fantastic. I mean, they have a lot of stages and, you know, everything is here and at our disposal. And the island and the city seems like ever growing, you know, so it's kind of an interesting uh, phenomenon. story and script were inspired by trips that we had taken to Qingdao early in the year. We were really impressed with some of the locations that we had seen and we thought that they were so visually dynamic and interesting that we decided to try to create a story that would weave them together in a way that we would have a unified uh, narrative. People are going to see a film that takes place all over the world from Japan to Germany to China and it looks like we filmed all over the world but in reality we've only filmed in locations around Qingdao. And three, two, one, action. Today we're at the Japanese tea house that is on location here and it's a phenomenal building. It looks incredible and it's subbing out for Hokkaido, Japan. This is playing the location of Master Assassin, the swordsman. That's, this is his lair. This is where he meditates and contemplates his next assignment or in other words his next victim. So right now we are supposedly in Germany, uh, outside of a prison where our German prisoner is escaping. He's just knocked out a few guards and has somehow gotten a hold of a guard uniform and made his way outside. We are actually somewhere in Qingdao and this is a building that's under construction and we put up a couple chain link fences and some barbed wire and we're making this look like a prison. Using camera movement to establish the location, we're introducing uh, where our German prisoner is how he's getting away, and the fact that he has one of the envelopes containing the assignment. In our narrative, we wanted to showcase old China, and Qingdao offers turn-of-the-century markets, restaurants, dining halls. We found this amazing dining hall that was close to the Qingdao food market that was made in the turn of the century. It's 100 years old and um, you see it in everything, in the wood, the texture, the materials, uh, the design, the kitchen. We weren't looking for it by any means, but when we saw it, we, it just clicked. Perfect to shoot at. The movie Metropolis is not just Wanda Studios, it's also the Wanda Mall and Star Island, which is just five minutes away from the studio itself. The island was designed and built as an ecosystem to support filmmaking. There are hotels and villas for your cast and crew to stay at, there are places to eat, there's a hospital and even an international school. Star Island is an extension of the studio in that it can function as a living backlot that can be utilized for filming. 
We did a lot of driving work. We were able to close lanes, control traffic. We even did a stunt. Doing that work anywhere else would have been so much more difficult. The action that happens next involves stuntmen, precision drivers, and a large amount of background extras. The only way we were able to pull off this ambitious scene was by having complete control of our location. With Wanda's cooperation and allowing us to control the streets of Star Island, we were able to pull off this complex shot very efficiently. So right now we are prepping for a car stunt. Um, our teacher has started to get strangled by our German prisoner assassin. She struggles, she hits the gas, they peel out. In order to maximize our results, we're going to be filming it from several different angles. All of this gear is going to help us get much more creative angles than we would with just a single camera. We've rented a couple of Volkswagen Golfs and we've purchased one, added a roll cage, uh, harness, and it's really wonderful to see so many talented departments come together for what's going to be a really cool scene.